Hey everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect. We're finally ready to uh, jump in into the galaxy map and uh, see if we can't take on some, some missions. So, last time I think we found uh, that there was not much of interest in this galaxy. If I'm not mistaken. But, um, let me just double check. Actually, you know what? I think there was one spot. Yeah, here we go. So this is our first opportunity to finally uh, land and uh, do some exploration. So why don't we take Garrus and we'll take... let's take Rex. Like a well-rounded starting squad and we'll go from there. This is going to be our first opportunity using the, uh, the Mako and see what we can find. Alright, so... I already see some wreckage over there in the distance. Let's see what we can, uh, we can find. Not 100% sure what the environment is. Hmm. This kind of looks like, uh, one of our Systems Alliance uh... Thanks, but not much going on with it. Uh, anyway, I don't know what the environment is as far as uh, suitability for personnel to go out and about, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure to what extent we can get out and explore. Because I know each environment's a little bit different. Uh, some of them are a lot more acidic or uh, harmful people trying to get out and explore, so we'll have to be careful of that. Alright, but here we have our first uh, mineral deposit. So... Uh, here we go. Okay. All right, time for our mineral mini game. All right. Uh, space bar triggers the jets. Right, right click fires the cannon. Left click. Gun. Okay. All right. Now I can't recall if once we uncover everything that there is to see on a specific planet. If it's going to let us know, or, uh, or what? On my way. Because I don't want to keep driving around if there's nothing left to uh, to find. But I do want to make sure we're doing our due diligence. We found some minerals. This kind of... Uh, oh, this keeps doing that. Uh, this kind of makes me think of... Um, no Man's Sky. Except I know it's not procedurally generated, but a lot of these planets, it kind of makes me think like that. Just kind of the terrain seems somewhat randomly put together. And uh, you never know quite what you're going to get when you land and start exploring. But I like the difference in environments. It always keeps things interesting. Like some are some are ice planets, uh, a lot of desert planets, obviously, because those are a bit easier. Oh, I see something in the mini map. Like we've got our first major point of interest. Alliance Marine. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's, let's move. Alright, gotta keep moving around. Alright. As I long as... Good, uh, I don't think we're good. As long as we stay somewhat mobile, I don't think that thing is gonna have much chance of hitting us. 
chipping away at it. So this is one of the things uh, that the Alliance has been devastated by, depending on the colony. The Thresher Maw. And these things are scary. Kind of uh, remind me of the Sandworms from the Dune series. Which is a popular sci-fi book uh, series and soon to be a uh, motion picture. Which I'm really excited by. Okay. I think we're good. So... Let's uh, take a look at our fallen comrades. Looks like they were lured here by the distressed beacon. Yeah. It's tough. Not great. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Well, we will we will let him know what happened. Though so there's no way to interact with this, I don't think. And there's no way to get any more evidence, so I think we are good to go. Okay. Take a look at the map. Oh! Okay. So there are uh, points of interest here that it'll it'll show to us. Okay. I did not remember that. So, okay. That is a relief because it would be uh, quite a hassle to, to do a grid search every time we wanted to make sure that we got everything on a given planet. That would get tedious pretty quick. So, now that we know that, we can hop uh, right between the different points of interest as quick as you like. So after a Thresher Maw, uh, unless there's another one, I don't think there's going to be too much that's going to be uh, challenging to us. go. We're right on top of whatever it is. Hey, what? What is it? Oh. Mummified Solarian. Okay. Go check it out. Take an artifact? Sure. I don't know if this is going to be um, something for our codex or if it's actually going to be equipment of some kind. Captain Milan's identification tag. Interesting. I don't know if that's something that we um, we have a quest for yet. However, it's always good to have. So we got the deposit, the distress signal, and now we'll check out this uh, debris. All right. I wish that I keep I keep zooming in because I hit, keep hitting the shift key which I'm used to sort of operating as a uh, sprint button, but on uh, on this specific layout, it is the zoom function. So I'm gonna have to check later on to see if there's a way I can get this thing to sort of go a little bit faster. Something like a equivalent for a, uh, a vehicle sprint, whatever you wanna call it, like a boost. All right. And there's the debris. It looks like a satellite of some kind, I'm guessing. All right, come on, let us out, let us out. On my way. Go. All right, what have we here? Electronic skill too low. Oh, come on. You're hitting me. All right, well, we're going to have to come back sometime when we've got people with more uh, electronic skills. So that's that's a lesson for me. Make sure that we're, we're balancing our combat effectiveness with our electronics uh, proficiency. And to be quite honest, we can handle pretty much anything that any of these planets throws at us. So we don't need to be too worried about our combat effectiveness. Go ahead and survey this. Hydrogen, beautiful. All right, Sparta, Idolus, Primonre, uh, Altaya, and Alcides. We'll survey this. We've got some plutonium. Great. Now, once in a while, I know that there are points of interest that you can find uh, in between planets. Whether asteroids or moons or wreckage or uh, other points of interest like that. So I think that we're pretty much good in the Sparta system. 
why don't we travel to the Macedon system? So these all seem to be sort of uh, Greek or um, uh, sort of the, the ancient Greece Grecian civilization theme. So Sparta, Gnosis was the capital of ancient Crete. Well, it still is today, but uh, there are some famous ruins which could be uncovered there. Athens, of course, everybody knows. And then Macedon is the country to the north of Greece that Alexander the Great hailed from. So um, with that in mind, that little history lesson, let's take a look. We have Sharjia. And all right, so it looks like we can we can land here. Uh, number of unregistered vehicles, vessels rather, operating nearby. High-speed surface winds can present a hazard. EVAs are discouraged, so, AKA, we don't want to get out of our Mako unless it's absolutely necessary. All right, so lesson learned uh, about our electronics. Let's take Tali. And let's take, what, uh, let's go ahead and grab Rex so we have some bi biotic proficiency. Okay. Oh, and we also leveled up. So as a matter of fact, once we land, wow, this planet kind of looks like the last one, doesn't it? Um, once we land, why don't we take a look at our skill tree? All right, so here we are. We've got four points to work with. We want to work up to these milestones eventually. Uh, Spectre training, uh, I, you know, it's sort of this this catch-all, um, well-rounded aspect, which I think is going to be very useful. Damage and duration of powers, health, accuracy. So why don't we go ahead and, and max this out while we can, which gets us the ability to restore our squad members, which I think is going to be super important. Oh, Rex, we haven't leveled up at all. Um, He's going to be our tank, so I would like to get him this uh, damage boost. Uh, we may unlock fitness. Oh, this. Oh, if, if we get it, this unlocks fitness, which increases health. We will definitely do that. Uh, I want to get him this regeneration. Um, I think this, this specific skill at the bottom, which is sort of unique to each... Uh, party member, I like to max that out as soon as possible. Fitness, we'll go ahead and get that to get this new skill tree to um, get some increased health, which we will do eventually. Let's give him this overkill uh, perk. And increasing damage will be nice. Um, getting immunity will be even nicer, I think. There we go. So, his biotic skills are going to be helpful, but I don't think they're a critical part of his kit, considering that we are biotic, uh, and so I think we're going to be carrying the load as far as that's concerned. I would like to get to the point where I can equip heavy armor on him. Yeah, so why don't we go ahead and bump that up. Basically, we want him to stick around long enough to soak and soak up enough damage that our cooldowns can reset, we can get our reloads in, whatever the case may be. So we will eventually get to sh assault rifles and shotguns, but it's not incredibly critical to, to unlock right away. All right, so for Talia, um, we really need her electronic skills, I think, um, so that she can help us with uh, any sort of tricky uh, unlocks that we might be facing. All right. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and why don't we go counterclockwise in this instance. Oh, there, there I go with the shift again. All right, so, okay, so this planet's a little bit orangier, oranger, orangier, than, uh, than the last one. So you know what, hang on just one second. Let me check our controls for navigation. For vehicle thrusters or spacebar, turret zoom and shift. I don't see anything that makes us go quicker. If there is, I would definitely like to know that. But it seems like this the speed at which we're operating is sort of the at any given time is the maximum that we're gonna be able to do, unfortunately. I think in later Mass Effect games they, they sort of tweak this a bit so that it's a it's a little bit uh easier to get around and, and um, speed comes out uh, a little bit more of a, an, an easier ability to get which is nice 
And what have we here? Debris to check out. Jump out. We've got an escape pod. Electronic skill too low. Okay. So... We don't have any inherent electronic skills. Does that mean our overall squad electronic skills need to be higher than what we're bringing? I think it might be. So, uh, just to test that theory, because I don't recall if that's if that's the case, if it's like our overall squad electronic skills. Let's go back to the Normandy really quick. We can usually load in and out fairly quickly. And let's just max out our squad electronics uh, capability. So that means with her and let's say Garrus. And that's tech. Um, so hopefully that's what we want. Uh, hang on. Examine squad. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, so that purple, that all important purple bar, I think is what the game is referring to in terms of electronics. If not, then then my other theory is that we need to get Tali to a little bit of a higher proficiency herself. So, um, basically, we'll, this will test our theory as to whether it's the party's cumulative electronic skills or our uh, essentially highest rated party member that electronics will apply for. So if we if we try this and fail, because we, we have our party about as high highly skilled in electronics as they will go for the time being. Um, if this fails, then we know that we need to just put all our points into Tali's electronics tree, and then she'll become a pretty indispensable party member for uh, scavenging missions like this. Okay, that's too bad. All right, well now we know, and um, I guess we we can't be good at everything. Or at least not yet. Eventually we will be good at everything, but we need more skill points to make that happen. So, on to the next destination. And I should probably take a look at our uh, inventory. I believe we acquired a few new toys during our last, um, our last excursion. Some weapons and armor and such, and I want to make sure that we've, we're at our best. Okay, we've got a few enemies down here, it looks like. Uh, I wonder, some games will let you run over enemies, and that would be very nice to be able to do that. Yes, okay. Uh oh, whoops, we're just a little bit stuck right here at the moment. Okay, let's run over the enemies where possible. And that didn't work out for us. Okay, took care of the sniper. Okay, that sniper. Alright, let's jump down here. Because we are in a little bit of trouble. That sniper's good. Sniper is off his perch. Oops. Alright. Well. Save. Hmm. Alright. Well. Lesson learned. Uh, so, before we go into any kind of significant combat, especially in a planet like this where it takes forever to get from one place to another, Saving is going to be pretty critical. So, for your benefit, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward into our next engagement. Okay, here we are. So, let's go ahead and drop a save real quick. Just so that we don't have to uh, drive all that way again if we mess up. So, looks like these towers can uh, get knocked over pretty quickly, pretty easily. 
so I think we will try to uh, knock it over whenever we can. Oh man, that guy is going for a ride. Oh no, we got stuck. Oh boy. Back up, back up. Okay, got them. We need to knock down this tower. Let's roll... Oh boy. Roll around to the other side. Let's heal up. Uh oh. And we can't move right now. We're repairing. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't I didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to move while we repaired. Almost. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that works. Okay, and the sniper here. There we go. Uh, we got him. All right, as easy as that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're parking as close as possible to limit our time outside. Let's take a look. All right, there's enemies in there. Save real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at our equipment. Okay, we'll take those. Uh, we want to give ourselves the best pistol possible. I think we are at our maximum and the best shotgun. We have the best one. Garrus, <clears throat> shotgun, it's good to go. And sniper, I think, is the other thing we want to give him. So let's increase. Um, okay, hammer two. That looks good, and then any kind of mods we can give him. Sure, we'll throw in some anti-personnel rounds, and... Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. And then for her, I think she is like us, where she's pistols and shotguns. Let's take it those, and for her pistol, mod her with anti-personnel rounds. For us, we'll take... Uh, this toxic damage, that seems good, like it could be useful. And we'll, we'll pass on that for now. As far as armor goes, I don't think there's any kind of upgrades. Let's see. Uh, tech biotic protection, we don't really need that. All right. I think, I think we are, uh, oh, actually, let's give ourselves some, uh, some points. So for Garrus, he's got plus two. All right, what what do we want to give him? Tactical armor. I think I think we want to increase his survivability as much as possible. Drop a save, and then let's go ahead and see what we find. Go go go! All right, let's go ahead and throw them and actually we can throw a warp on them as well Hold warp on. first and then throw get him out of the way Hold the line. and then let's boost some shields and let's increase our pistol accuracy oh boy all right all right here we go. Let's let's work on this again. All right. So go, go, we've got go. some grenades. I think we should go ahead and Enemy use those. Go, go, go. Okay, he's gonna be out in a second. All right, he's good to go. We could probably take them from afar. working out pretty well. Okay, once they flank us, I think these this is sort of our emergency time. Our, uh, so our, our biotic abilities are sort of our, our emergency contingency uh, use. Okay. Like we've got three or four left. Alright, another one down. Start moving up. Okay. Oh, 
Nice shot. Move up here. Oh boy. Oh, we must have gotten hit by some abilities from the other side. Damn, we can't quite get her yet. Where'd she go? Alright, let's drop a warp on her. Almost, almost, almost. Okay. Uh, I think there's one more. Perimeter secure. Oh, no, I guess we got him. Alright. Nice job, everyone. Why don't we take a look around? See what we can grab. Easy decryption. Thank you very much. All right, a biotic amp and an omni tool. Let's check those out. And some assault rifle, ammo, weapon upgrade, all kinds of good stuff for us. All right, duration bonus. Uh, sure, why don't we grab that? And let's see here. What can we give our crew? An omni tool. Do we not have an omni tool? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, Garrus. Yeah, Garrus, take this. Uh, shield bonus, med tech cooldown. Oh. Uh, if it's tech, then I feel like Talia should be having it. So we'll give her that. Let's see what pistols we got. Okay. Uh, neither of those are for us. Reaper. Yep, why don't we give that to Garrus. Then, uh, let's give him the assault rifle as well, the Banshee. Let's put some improved rounds into our pistol. Plus 12% damage, minus rate of fire. Yeah, that's fine. That's an acceptable trade-off. And then plus 25% weapons force. That works for me. All right. Very good. Let's see what else we got. Oh, more pistols. Shotgun. Armor. More armor. Okay. Well, we should have opened those crates uh, before we did all our inventorying. I think we are light armor only, uh, if I recall correctly. So this is probably not going to apply to us. And, uh, yep, don't need any of those. Um, this improved shotgun I will take. But other than that, I think we're we're squared away. Okay, I let's uh, see if there's anything else that we want to look at on this level before going upstairs. I don't think there is. Head on up. I think the spread of those shotguns was just a little bit more than than I was comfortable with. I'm gonna have to to figure that out. All right, nothing over here. Don't I don't think. So we've got a maybe I've got to tank up a little bit more so that we can get closer and the shotgun can actually be uh, a bit more effective. Malfunctioning object. Oh, okay. Armor upgrades, weapon upgrades, all good stuff. Uh, a decryption. Can use decryption skill on hard objects. Yeah, we need that ASAP. Electronic skills on average objects. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Well, and then we can... Okay, I see. We can use decryption skill there as well. All right, that, that sort of answers my question as to what we were lacking before. That's too bad. Uh, decryption too low either. All right, well, at least we can invest, investigate this. You discover evidence the Asari leading the slavers and Nasana Dantius, an important ambassador to the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Okay, we'll take that. I'm glad, though, that, that anything that's kind of story-driven is not hidden behind a decryption or a hacking check. It's it's right there for us to find. 
that is more than okay with me. It's, it's probably just, you know, the weapons and gear and stuff, which obviously we want. I mean, we want the best of everything for, for our squad, but it's not at the end of the world if we don't get it, because our inventory, to be honest, is going to be pretty full before too long. If there's one thing about Mass Effect um, that I know, <laughs> it's that... Uh, oh, upgrade kit. Uh, it's that items come quick and fast. Case in point. There's always going to be uh, plenty of boxes to loot and corpses to take stuff from, so I'm not too worried. Exit. Hop back in our trusty Mako. All right, and we've got one more point of interest to check out before we move on. This thing steers like a cow, like a literal cow. Kind of fun though, I mean, just the interacting with the physics of the terrain, I guess. It's kind of interesting to see, see what exactly it does. And it really makes it feel earned once you get to the location and uncover whatever exactly it is that you need to do. We've got some mining to do up there. Want to check out. I feel like our Mako is still in bad shape. Can we do any repairing? I think R, but nothing's happening, so I guess not. Alright, some thorium. Alright, don't mind if I do. They're expert geologists. Shepard. Not only a brilliant uh, military commander, but knows a thing or two about rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and... I always forget the last one. Alright, what do we have here? Asari capsule. We'll take that off your non-existent hands. Matriarch's writings. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things, one of Matriarch de la Naga's writings. I mean, I hope they didn't actually live here. It'd be a pretty depressing place to live. Literally nothing to do. Alright. And we're good. I mean, we can always find... Looks like the, you know, the minerals are sort of uh, random, and you could find them if you look hard enough, but they're not, uh, you know, as essential for us to, to find as, as the different, I guess, story-based items. All right, so, so much for Shargia. Oralan. Take a look at, we can survey that. Matriarchs, more Matriarchs writings. You were scanning the planet Porolon when a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings in its storage compartment. Kindly. Adavik. Okay. Not much of interest here. Bargaloos. Right. Concentration of Xenon. Take that. For the good of the Alliance. Right. Oh, something undiscovered. Ah, very nice. Okay. Little rich asteroid. Great. Oh, that, that's so satisfying. Uh, sort of finding those little, I guess, secrets in between the planets. It, uh, it's fun, and I, I like how, you know, you are rewarded for looking beyond the surface level, I guess, you know. Okay, I think that's everything for the Macedon system, so let's head to the Athens system.
Okay. Uh, looks like there's more Greek uh, mythology references here. So, Baros, uh, I'm not 100% sh sure. I isn't that the, um, like, the ferryman in the underworld? Oh, no, that's Charon. I'm not sure who Ferris is. Circe, she was a sorceress who Odysseus um, ran to, one of the, the heroes from the Trojan War, who turned men into pigs, uh, literally. And so that she is, she is interesting. Nausicaa, she is... Nausicaa, she's somebody's wife. <laughs> That's not very helpful. I, I don't recall. I don't recall what Nausicaa's significance was. Proteus, I believe, was a titan. Uh, one of the... Uh, I guess the beings that predated Zeus in the Olympian gods. And Salamis, I know the Battle of Salamis was one of the uh, significant conflicts of the Peloponnesian War. It's a naval battle where the Greeks uh, essentially scored a decisive victory against the Persians. And um, I believe it is depicted in uh, 300 Rise of an Empire, sequel to uh, 300. You know. The uh, classic, classic historical text, the movie 302. Go ahead and survey this. Abandoned base. Uh, the Magna Colony insignia. Okay. Great. Circe. It's gonna give us some hydrogen or helium. Why not? For all our balloon making needs. Nausicaa. Not much to see here. Proteus. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus is more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global humidity to 100%. That sounds like Houston. Hot, humid, and storm-wracked, Proteus is a rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, carbon-based biosphere. Recommended for colonization. Oh, nice. Okay. Free oxygen. Great, oxygen should be free. Thalamus. Alright, pretty abandoned. And um, let's do a quick sweep for anything hidden. Uh, especially the asteroid belt, I find, can, can have stuff pop up because it kind of blends in. Okay. Alright, and uh, Gnosis. Look. There's something unknown that we'll go back to. Alright, I'm not sure what the significance are of these names, if any. Alright, starting in and going out, Phaistos. Little, little of interest. Thank you for letting us, uh, for being upfront about that. Alright. Phallic Asteroid. We'll definitely take advantage of. Platinum for, uh, I suppose, our, our credit card making uh, ventures. Theorem. All right. Distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Houston Human Systems Alliance. Plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with fossils of simple silicon based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. We're going to go check it out. Alright, well, until we level up our decryption and, and so on and so forth, there's not much point in taking Tali. Um, so why don't we load up our combat effectiveness. Once we get a few skill points, then we can start thinking about balancing our squad's combat effectiveness with electronics versus uh, hacking and decryption and so on. But, but we need to get a few more skill points before that's a viable option. Oh boy, alright. So this, this map is a little bit more complicated than the, the previous ones. Theorem. So it looks more like a uh Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like pretty off the easy damn path. charts. It All looks right. like it's What's coming up, from Joker? an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Alright, let's check it out. 